We're talking over to AJ. Sure. We shut down Jash about three months ago due to the logo situation. You know, I think the most important thing to us at Jash is getting that logo right. We don't want a logo that is new or fresh. We want to go with something that is classic. The first logo with one circle, that was the beginning logo. That bought us time to actually create the real logo. What do you guys think everybody's reaction is going to be? Negative. Between Eric and Reggie and Michael Sarah and Sarah Silverman, who I call the Four Horsemen, those four really sort of went behind my back and made that change. We decided we were stifled by this logo. It just looked like shit. You know, I mean, just look at our team for a second, okay? You got the Four Horsemen, and you got Tim Heidecker. Everything about Jash indicates that it's going to be one hell of a bumpy ride. If a logo isn't right, the content's out the window. I get an email out of the blue from somebody pretty high up at Jash, and they said, um, what do you guys think of this new logo? And I wrote back one word. I said, why? If you're gonna make a change, make a dramatic change, make something that is gonna cause people to talk about it. Make it instead of a circle, make it a square or a triangle. Wow. Or just add an inner circle, it's dumb. No one's gonna notice and no one's gonna care. Andy Warhol once said, why make one circle when you can make two circles? I'm pretty sure he said that. The point is we had this conversation, the four horsemen got together. Everyone voted for it except for Tim. So at that point we're like, we're gonna go, we're gonna do press, we're gonna do this and be positive and for you to kind of like go against that right now, I think it's bullshit. It's really strange that Tim just forgets about this meeting that we had in person, all of us together, saying specifically that, yeah, this will be a placeholder logo, the first one with just one circle. Hopefully we'll develop something with at least two circles. It's kind of what making me go, maybe I don't want to be part of this jash anymore. It doesn't matter that Tim's not into it because majority rules. The next time I want something, I'm not going to compromise. I'm going to get it. I'm going to take it. And I'm going to overrule the majority rule, and it's going to be like the way it was with Hitler and uh, Napoleon. And uh, dictators are going to monarchies. No, no, no Congress, only kings. You know, Tim's always comparing himself to, you know, Napoleon and Hitler, you know, big time guys. But the truth is, he's, he's a very small thinker, really. I think it's hilarious that that the four horsemen is a negative term and you're using it to describe you guys. I, it, is a, it is the worst thing you could call four people. My four musketeers would be a compliment. Four horsemen is grade A insult. That's why I say it. It's about the apocalypse. The four horsemen is the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah. So. Tim can go suck on himself. Josh, we spice it up. Primetime players, four horsemen. It's okay when you lose one team member, you know, because you still have the other team members to reinforce the majority. Eventually I just got exhausted with all the screaming arguments. What's better than one circle? Two circles. <laughs> See ya. Cats speaking English. Is there a camera or something in here? Like, is this, is this a joke? There is a camera right there. Excuse me, my sandwich got moved here. I'm not following any of this. Uh, I'm gonna try harder to be clear. Ah! Okay, when I'm telling a dinosaur joke, you can't play a C chord. What are you, stupid? Ooh, I got it, all right. Let's move on, shall we?